Hey guys, Mike here. So today, I'm here to talk to you about Phantom Fred. In this review, I'll be going over a brief summary of the plot, my quick thoughts about the film, and whether or not you should go and see it. So I'm going to try and keep this review spoiler free. However, if you don't know anything about the film, and you want to go in completely blind, then I'll suggest coming back to this video once you've seen the film. So with that, let's get started, shall we? Whatever you do, do it carefully. Phantom Fred stars Daniel Day-Lewis as Reynolds Woodcock, who is a renowned dressmaker. One day, while having dinner, he meets a waitress named Alma, who is played by Vicky Creeps. And after their first horrifically awkward encounter, the film only gets progressively worse from there. I mean, it wasn't just them who was bad in the film. Everyone else was bad too. Everyone was ridiculously monotone. And the only time that they actually weren't monotone was when they were swearing at each other. But even then, it was still just awful to watch. This film was one music change away from becoming a straight-up horror film because everyone's interactions with each other were just so creepy and unnatural. You'd swear you were actually in a horror movie. This film has been nominated for six Oscars. Yes, six Oscars. And the only one I wouldn't be too miffed if it won is Best Achievement in Costume Design. Because to the film's credit, the costumes are actually very well done in this film. And when your film is mostly about dresses, they needed to get at least that right. The worst thing about Daniel Day-Lewis being nominated for Best Actor for this film was that Hugh Jackman was overlooked for Logan for Best Actor. In fact, I actually have a clip of how Hugh Jackman reacted to not being nominated for Logan. For a performance by an actor in a leading role, Daniel Day-Lewis in Phantom Thread. Overall, this film was overly long, it had no life to it, and it was very boring. I mean, when I watched the trailer, I knew this was going to be a bad film, but I went to see it anyway because I wanted it to prove me wrong. And you know what? It did prove me wrong because this film was even worse than I thought it was going to be. It's two hours of my life, I'm never getting back, and I would honestly say do not go see this film because I don't want anyone else to go through what I've been through with this film. Okay guys, that's my quick review of Phantom Fred. If you've seen it, what did you think about it? And what's a film you really wish you'd never saw? Whatever it is, drop it in the comments. And until next time, I've been Michael. See ya!